Good morning, everyone. I would like to share the results of the exam on measures of central tendency you know, given last December 6. And uh, based on the result, uh, we have here frequently missed questions. So number one, it's N302, exam on measures of central tendency. If the value is not exact, round off to one decimal place. So find the mean of the following numbers. Uh, 5, 10, 6, 11, 3, 3, 10, 3. So it's indicated in there 0 out of 124 responses. Why 124? Because I have different sections of N303 uh, and uh, I actually sum up all of the responses. And then the second one, Ed 302, exam on measures of central tendency. If the value is not exact, round off to one decimal place. Find the mean of the following numbers, 5, 10, 6, 100, 0, 0, 10, and then 0. So if you look up into the different sections, uh, so it's a 0 out of 124. Uh, that means no one got the correct answer of uh, the 124 takers. That is actually from Ed 303, 830 to 10, then Ed 303, we have 10 to 11, 30, Ed 303, 1 to 2, 30, and then Ed 303, 230 to 4. So a total of 124. So let me discuss about this. It's all about find the mean, not the median of the following numbers, 5, 10, 6, 100, 0, 0, 10, 0. So if we look up into the computation of the median, so we have to arrange first the data from highest to the lowest or lowest to the highest. And I call that one as the ordered arrangement of uh, the data. So if you're going to arrange that one, so it would be, 0, 0, 0, 5, 6, 10, 10, then 100. So I repeat, it would be 0, 0, 0, 5, 6, 10, 10, 100. And the total number of data found in the set is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So to get the median, 8 divided by 2. I discussed that one in uh, the measures of central tendency video. So 8 divided by 2, 4. So count 4 starting from the lowest one. And then count 4 also starting from the highest one. So if you follow that process, you will get two middle items. And the two middle items in that case are 5 and that 6. And for the two middle items, we're going to get the average of the two to get the value of the median. So 5 plus 6, then divided by 2. So that will give you 5.5. So if you notice, that 5.5 is an exact division. The value is exact. Because if you divide 11 by 2, the quotient is exactly 5.5. So in that case, that's what I mean about exact, that the division is exact. The value is exact. So 5.5. So what are you going to write in the answer? It must be 5.5. So most of you rounded off that one to 6 because you believe because 5.5 is not exact. But if you look up into the process, 5 plus 6, 11 divided by 2, that gives you 5.5. The value is exact. The division is exact. So the correct answer is 5.5. And you're not going to round off that one because the value is exact uh, based on the computation of the median. I emphasize that one in the video on measures of central tendency and skewed uh, distribution, both videos one and two. Then we go into this uh, Ed 302 exam on measures of central tendency. So if the value is not exact, round off to one decimal place. So find the mean of the following numbers. So 5, 10, 6, 11, 3, 3, 10, and then 3. 
So if you're going to calculate the mean, you're going to add all the given values in the set divided by the number of data found in the set. So following the formula, you're going to have 5 plus 10 plus 6 plus 11 plus 3 plus 3 plus 10 plus 3. And that gives you a total of 51. And that's what we call summation of x or the total of all the data found in the set, 51. Then divided by the number of data in the set. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 data in the set. So we have to divide the sum or the summation of x by 8. So 51 divided by 8. And if you are going to divide 51 by 8, uh, you will get exactly 6.375. The division is exact, 6.375, not 6.375. It is an exact division. So 6.375. So the correct answer that you are going to consider must be 6.375 because uh, the value is uh, exact. No? So if the value is exact, so that is 6.375. That's what you are going to look at into that case. No? Now 51 divided by 8, that will give you exactly 6.375. Then the last one that I would like to emphasize is on the third. Ed 302, exam on measures of central tendency. If the value is not exact, round off to one decimal place. So find the mean of the following numbers. So we have 5, 10, 6, 100, 0, 0, and then 10, and then 0. So you are going to add again all of the values found in the data set divided by the total number of data found in the set. So we are going to add... 5 plus 10 plus 6 plus 100 plus 0 plus 0 plus 10 plus 0. So that gives you a total of 131. 131. Then divided by 8. No? The total number of data in the set is 8. No? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the total number of data is 8. So 131 divided by 8. So when you divide 131 by 8, it will give you exactly 16.375. The division is exact, 16.375. So we have there 16.375. So some of you indicated 16.4, and some of you have that wrong answer, 18.7. And most of you rounded off that one to one decimal place because you believe the value is not exact. But uh, looking at the division, 131 divided by 8, it will give you exact quotient, 16.375. So 16.375. So it's not actually 16.4. So in uh, most cases, when you're going to take an exam, you're going to apply your test wiseness. So, in such a way that you are going to make an analysis, an interpretation of uh, the direction given. If the value is not exact, round off to one decimal place. But that value, not exact or exact, could be referred to the process of getting the final value. So if the division is exact or the division is not uh, exact, uh, so if the division is not exact, for example, 1 divided by 3 is equal to 0.33333, the 3 does not terminate. It is a non-terminating but repeating decimal. So that would be the time that you are going to round off because it is a non-terminating decimal. It's not an exact value. Remember that in the video on measures of central tendency, uh, video 1 and video 2, and so with frequency distribution uh, construction, I mentioned that uh, there is what we call a delineation on exact division and what kind of symbol should be used, uh, and if the division is not exact, what kind of symbol to be used, no? on the use of equality symbol and then the use of uh, the approximation symbol. And even in the use of the law of rounding of numbers and actually the process of not using the law of uh, 
rounding off numbers because there are actually some things in there that I mentioned that uh, we have to make use of the most convenient number where we don't follow the law of rounding off uh, numbers. So you have to take note about those things that I mentioned specifically in the three videos that I uh, let you watch uh, before the exam. So kindly reflect uh, what you have answered and then think about uh, how are you going to reflect uh, on those things uh, about the answers that you have uh, done uh, in the December 6, 2022 exam. Thank you very much. Happy morning, everyone.